Lens Studio now has a new method for displaying realistic and detailed geometry using NERF rendering. NERF rendering differs from a traditional rendering pipeline because NERF rendering utilizes deep learning techniques to render 3D assets with 2D images only, without explicit representations such as meshes. Lens Studio's proprietary SnapML technology enables rendering 3D objects or scenes with machine learning models efficiently on mobile devices using a Neural Processing Unit, NPU, or Graphics Processing Unit, GPU. NERF is an acronym for Neural Radiance Fields. This rendering technique uses machine learning to take a limited set of input images of a scene or object and use that data to extrapolate information to display 3D objects from any viewpoint. To help you dive into the world of NERF, our team curated a dataset and a Lens Studio project that's available on GitHub. The link is in the description. Functionally, it is similar to photogrammetry in that you can capture data of real-world objects via 2D images and then process that data so that it can be displayed in 3D. The key differentiation is that rather than creating polygonal models and textures, NERF data is used to create a volumetric rendering approach. Using volumetric rendering allows us to create high-fidelity outputs that can preserve some types of detail that can be extremely difficult to represent in a polygonal rendering approach. NERF is different from other forms of rendering, and it has some unique features in terms of how visual data is represented. Let's dive into what this allows us to do. First and foremost, SNAP's NERF pipeline for Lens's mobile R2L allows us to create realistic representations of complex objects with high fidelity to the original source material that runs on mobile devices in real time. In polygonal rendering, to create detail, we need to represent it as vertices and triangles, and for certain types of complex subjects, it can be extremely difficult and computationally expensive to render those in real time. Mobile R2L uses a fundamentally different approach, which is not based on polygons, but instead leveraging implicit neural representations and distillation that creates the opportunity to represent complex forms in new and efficient ways. We'll use this chair as an example to showcase the rich detail and realistic lighting we can achieve using this new workflow. Using NERFs means that we can represent precise, real-world data in a highly detailed and realistic way offering a new approach to high visual fidelity in AR experiences on mobile devices. Now, let's take a look at how to set up mobile R2L data in Lens Studio. First, let's create a new project. Next, we'll add our files to the current project and open them up in our new scene. For our trained data, we'll need to modify the outputs in our compatibility channel. Select the model file in resources and in the model import settings, let's change the values of channel 0, 1, and 2 to 255.0. In the object panel, we need to add three objects in order to display a mobile R2L dataset in Lens Studio. Let's add three ML component objects under our camera. The first ML component will hold a reference to our model data that we want to render. In this case, the data representing our chair. Let's select our gelu snapchair.onnx file and get that loaded in. The second component is the embedder component, which enables us to get the state of the camera in order to render our nerf from the vantage point of our camera in the scene. Finally, we add the sampler to the third ML component, which does the final steps of drawing our data as pixels to the screen. Taken together, these three components help load, update, and render our nerf data in our lens. There are a few final steps in order to get things displaying correctly and as expected within Lens Studio. We've included the ML controller script, which contains a number of variables related to our mobile R2L object, specifically referred to as our scene intrinsics, but it's best to just think of them as regular control variables. Before we dig deeper into intrinsics, let's add our ML components to this controller. The chair, sampler, and embedder all need to be referenced. The intrinsics data helps us create a one-to-one -one relationship between our internal scene camera and the original camera data used to generate our NERF data. These variables include the dimensions of the capture frame represented by H and W for height and width. The radius variable is specific to the NERF scene scale, and frustum data is given by the near, far, and focal variables. Finally, the cam angle is a representation of the field of view of the camera. 
Next, we add an output image for our chair. We add an output texture to the scene, we set the material to our background remover, and then we see the chair in our preview panel. The data included in the project is here, so you can experiment with multiple NERF datasets and render it correctly in both Lens Studio and on device in AR. It can also be manually adjusted, so you can get a feel for how you can adjust your NERF object using these settings as well. If you would like to see a bit more of what mobile R2L data can do on your own, we have included a few snap codes that you can scan to experience mobile R2L rendering of other types of objects on iPhone 13 or higher devices. Just scan any of these snap codes to load up the individual lenses and try them out. These small demonstrations can give you an idea of what mobile R2L rendering looks like for a variety of subjects, as well as how they perform both in terms of visual fidelity and frame rate on your own hardware. The workflow for creating or training your own mobile R2L datasets is different depending on how you want to approach it. The training process is computationally intensive, and while it's possible to train models on your desktop computer, many people choose to use cloud infrastructure for training. We've included links in the description of the video to resources that will explain how to get started. Early research into NERF showed promise in terms of the algorithm's ability to generate incredibly realistic views of real objects. But initially rendering this data was a cumbersome task that was best suited to high-end desktop rendering. The innovation that SNAP's research team has brought to Lens Studio is the ability to efficiently render NERF data on mobile devices in real time. With Lens Studio, developers now have access to the most cutting edge research and technology. We're excited that now any lens creator can leverage the fidelity of mobile R2L assets in their own lenses.